I like that it's cute and tiny. A really fat version that ends up being for your face. I feel like I've said neutral pink a lot. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites of movies for you today, and for the most part, it was kind of like a hodgepodge sort of a week. I was wearing some neutrals this week because I was working in the office a little bit more, so I had to be a little bit more subdued and put together. So I do have some neutral favorites, but then also I have a couple of colorful favorites, and I did a really fun eye look when I worked at Sephora that I want to mention some of the products from that, so yeah. It's kind of just all over the place, so let's get to it. So for neutral eye looks this week, this was pretty much my go-to. I wore this almost every single day. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Eyeshadow Palette. First off, I think it's so cute to look at. I think the packaging is just beautiful. I love that it's a little bit smaller than the other circle palettes from Tarte, that it's not like, it doesn't have the face products in it. So it's a little bit smaller. It's just the eyeshadow but it's just cute. It's like a cute little tiny version of the bigger circle palette. So I like that it's cute and tiny. And it's really, really pretty. Now when I first got this, I did a review video and a tutorial using this palette. Um, and I was saying I liked it, but it wasn't like a, one of those I can't live without it sort of palettes. You know what I mean? I mean, it's really nice quality. It really makes beautiful eye looks. Um, but I think just because I do have a lot of neutral eyeshadows, it's not like a, oh my gosh, I have to have this palette. But I have been using it. It's really nice quality. The formula on these shadows is really interesting. Um, it get, they get hard pan really easily in the pan, especially if you're like swatching with your finger. But I don't find that they are difficult to work with on the eyes. I find that they build on themselves really nicely. They're pigmented and beautiful. They're just kind of a strange, funky type of formula. I don't know, something's just a little bit funky with them. But on the eyes, they work really nicely. And this was just a perfect palette to be able to grab and pretty much just use any of these colors. Today I'm a little bit smokier than I was most like work days, but I mean, there's just so many options in here to make a very work appropriate neutral sort of eye look or just if you're just going for neutral if you want to do a bright lip like I have then you've got a great palette for doing a very neutral pretty eye and then when I worked at Sephora I did a rebel eye look which basically a rebel eye look as I understand it is basically like out of the box sort of makeup like it's not totally finished it's a little bit messy um, it can be like dark and smoky, but it can be metallic, glittery. It's just like basically not following the rules. So anyway, for my look, I did a really metallic eye and then some glitter on top. So these were the two metallics that I wore. Oh, these are so amazing. I think that any of these eyeshadows from her line are awesome. These are the Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadows. This first one is in Thrasher, and I do have this on the inner corner of my eyes. This is such a cool gold because it's like an old gold, but it almost has like a green flashing to it or a tint to it, but then it has a little bit of like a burnt quality. It is so cool. And if you have blue eyes, this just makes blue eyes pop. So I love this one and I wear this one, you know, with other neutrals or whatever. So it's pretty with any kind of a neutral eye look. And then this other one is Raw Power, and this one's kind of like a cranberry sort of color. Ooh, this one's pretty. This one's a little bit like softer, so I do get a little bit more fallout with this one, so I have to be kind of careful with it. Oh, the locusts are going crazy outside. I don't know if you just heard that, but it is summertime in Texas, so locust season. Okay, so there is Raw Power. And look how it has like a little bit of a shift to it, like a purpley sort of shift or something. Oh, it's so pretty. So if you like metallics, if you like really pigmented shadows, I mean, from her line, she has blues, she has a green, um, she has like just a coppery color, like a, well, more of a bronzy kind of a color. So anyway, lots of color options, but they are great quality. On my cheeks this week, I brought this out. I haven't worn this in a while, but I really, really like it. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick Cheek Color Balm, and this is in the color Robust Rhubarb. So I am wearing this under something else right now, but I did wear it by itself this week. 
it's just a really, well, let me, let me show you. It's like, just basically, I don't know, it reminds me of like a lip pencil, except it's a really fat version that ends up being for your face. So I think it's really cute looking in the packaging, um, but it's just a really pretty, like muted coral. It's so pretty. So that's full on right there. So you can see what it looks like full on. And then when you kind of blend it out, which these blend really nicely, I use an e.l.f. small stipple brush, of course. I love my e.l.f. small stipple brush. It never fails me. So there's that. And the day that I wore it by itself, I didn't notice it doing anything, anything weird or like fading or whatever. So I think it wears really nicely by itself. But then, you know, you can layer something on top of it and it's just fun. So what I do is I get my small stipple brush and kind of run it across the top of there and then I apply it. So I don't actually like put this on my face. I use my brush to then apply it, which I find that to be a lot easier to use. It's got my name on it because I got it from Sephora. And then I also broke out this one this week and I haven't worn this in forever either, but it's so pretty. This is the Balms Down Boy. I love their packaging. I think it's just so cute and like vintagey looking. This one is just a beautiful, neutral pink. It says, so many men, so little time. That's funny. So <laughs> it's just a really pretty, like kind of cool toned pink. And you can see what it looks like layered with the other ones. So it makes just kind of a, I mean, I'm wearing it over something that's more corally. So it kind of becomes a more pinky coral cheek, but by itself, it's just a really pretty pink, like a, like a light cool toned pink, but really nice quality. I mean, really pigmented, blends super well, wears super well. So yeah, I need to show my balm, my The Balm blushes more love because they're really nice. I want to try, um, is it Desert? The one that's kind of like a neutrally bronzy blush sort of a color. Let me know if you have that because I've eyed that, I've thought about it, but I need to wait for a Hope Look sale, which I haven't been up on my Hope Look game lately, so I don't even know what sales they've been having lately, but I know they do the balm really often. For lips this week, they kind of work appropriate one that I wore, which I love this one for work. I love this for regular days. I love this for date night. It's just a really pretty lipstick. This is Maybelline's Blushing Pout. This is one of their um, comfort mattes. No, creamy mattes, creamy mattes. This one is Blushing Pout. This is one of my favorite lipsticks ever because it is just beautiful. Now that I'm swatching it, I feel like I've just talked to you guys about this. So if I have, I'm sorry. I've been like, work's been crazy, so I can't keep track of anything. So all the days and weeks run together. So I'm sorry if I've just mentioned this. I don't think I like, I don't think it's been in the last two weeks. But anyway, I feel like I've talked about it recently in a favorites, but this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty neutrally pink. It's kind of like a muted cool tone pink is how I would describe it. So it's a little bit purpley, but then it has like a mauve sort of a tone, a little bit of like gray to it to kind of like bring it down a little bit, you know what I mean? So it's still pretty and sweet and girly, but it's a, it's a neutral sort of pink in my book. I feel like it is, especially if I blend it with a kind of like neutral pink liner. Um, I feel like it's a very neutral pink combo. I feel like I've said neutral pink a lot. And then the combo that I'm wearing right now, I wore these this week together and I thought that they were just so fun. So I was wearing this top that I wanted to match and it was kind of a pinky purpley sort of color. And I couldn't just off the bat think of a color of a lipstick, just one single lipstick that would match. I'm sure I have one somewhere, but I was feeling like mixing up some lipsticks. So I wore these two together and I thought that they worked really well to match it. So this is Milani's Matte Orchid and then Matte Glam. So these remind me a lot of the Maybelline Creamy Mattes in that they're really comfortable, very pigmented, they're just a beautiful matte lipstick and they wear well throughout the day. So I'm going to show you layered. You can see it on my lips, what they look like layered, but I will show you in a swatch layered and then by themselves. So the pink one is matte orchid that's layered together. And this one is matte glam. Look how pigmented and amazing those are. Oh, so gorgeous. So they're both beautiful individually. 
I just don't feel as comfortable wearing purples as much by themselves, so I prefer them to have a little bit more of like a pinky cast to them. So I feel a little bit more comfortable with this kind of a lip look versus full on purple. I'll wear it, but just, you know, not as often. So yeah, I thought that was just a really fun lip combo. These are great. I think they're awesome lipsticks. These are some of my favorites. Um, and then of course, pretty much all Maybelline lipsticks are some of my very favorites. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.